She knows exactly what it takes to have a healthy, fit, and vibrant body. She also has a very, very special passion for touching and motivating and inspiring children. And so she's developing a superhero character, as we speak, concentrating on goal setting, fitness, and nutrition that kids can identify with and look up to as a role model. Now, you probably know her best as Siren on NBC's American Gladiators. Please give me a huge welcome, round of applause for Valerie Wagaman! I'm going to give you all of my energy. I promise to do that, okay? I just ask you a couple things. If I ask you a question, answer honestly, okay? And uh, I'm going to share some stories with you. So if you feel like you relate to anything or if, if you think something's funny, laugh with me, okay? Uh, just a quick condensed story of, of how I got to this stage right here. I, um, I was an athlete in college, obviously, and I started uh, a company with um, my significant other, a rest, healthy restaurant, and it's in Cleveland, Ohio. And we were struggling business owners, putting all our energy and money into the business, looking for ways to maximize our profits and, and expand the business nationwide. And so I got into figure competition for the sole purpose of marketing, being a product of my product. And I was very motivated because without a lot of money, I was rubbing pennies together. I didn't have a big budget, but I committed to the workouts and I worked a long days, long days, two workouts a day. Um, very hard managing a restaurant and working out like that and and then I ended up getting my pro status in, almost in a year which is unheard of and that led to uh, the covers of several fitness magazines in the in the two years after that and then gladiators found me from the fitness magazines so uh, and then I'm here today and and that's sort of my story that uh, you can really start in any situation and apply yourself focusing on your your goals and your dreams and get to a stage like this in a short amount of time someone in this room was going to share with you some techniques and some simple actions that you could take in your life right now that would help you bring forth the most magnificent physical expression that you ever imagined. Yeah? You like that? Okay. Now, what it, now it goes on. And by doing these same actions and techniques, you could also make stronger relationships, create greater financial freedom, have a, a more mental stimulation, incredible mental stimulation, spiritual growth, and create more time for yourself. What if you knew someone was gonna share with you some techniques? Would you give them your time and energy today a little bit, maybe? All right. Wait, I didn't hear you quite loud enough. Do I have to bust? All right. Don't make me bust out my siren costume. How important is health? It's kind of important, right? Well, let's just say this. Say you were in a hospital and you had a bunch of money in the bank, millions of dollars. You were the richest person in the world, yet you couldn't use it because you were in a hospital bed. Is health more important than money at that point? Okay. So now that we know it's more important, it's easy to understand why it's in incredibly important to bring it into all aspects of your life because you can't avoid it. You can't not work out and think it's going to be okay, right? Just focus on the career and the goals and I'll be all right. Focus on family. Well, I want to share with you how to bring it into those things. It's, it's very, actually very simple, right? So I have a little technique because you're going to need to change a little bit. I have a little technique that I do to face fear so that I can grow. So that we're going we're to talk about this first. Do you want to know what I do to face fear? So I basically look fear head on, right? And I thought, well, James is really good at these acronym things. What could fear B instead of fear. How about free energy? Everybody likes free stuff, right? All right. So I thought that's good. Free energy to be what? Ac action ready. So we've got free energy, action ready. Does that make sense? Fear gives you that feeling in the belly, and, and you don't want that to you don't want that to disempower you. You want to turn it into something. It's a good thing. It means you're ready to grow through your comfort zone. We all want to go through our comfort zone. So here's what I do. Get into a power stance, taking a deep breath, 
And I look fear head on and I say, bring it! Bring it! Right? So I want you all to try it and stand up, okay? Let's try it. Because you're going to go through some massive changes here. And uh, you're going to need to know how to do these things at home. You could do it anywhere. You could do it, um, you know, after this break. You can use it. It's yours. I didn't... I'm giving it to you. I'm sharing. Okay? So now when you see fear and you feel fear, what are you going to do? You're going to say, bring it, right? So I'm going to say, three, two, one. And you're all going to go, bring it! Okay? You ready for it? Now, on the count of three, two, one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bring it! All right. That was awesome. That was awesome. Give yourself a hand. Awesome. And it talks about um, the three forms of communication. So I'm going to give you an example, okay? So if I came out here and I got on stage and I said, I'm, um, ask me if, I, if I'm really excited to be here. Ask me. Yeah, I'm excited. Do you believe me? Okay. Uh, now ask me again. Let me try this again. I'm really excited to be here. Are you believing me now? No. Not really? Okay. All right, let me try this again. <sighs> now ask me again. Yeah, baby, I'm really excited to be here. Now would you believe me? Yeah. All right. Do you see the difference? The difference is that I spoke in words, which is only 7% communication. So you can say that you're excited, but if you don't show it, it's not going to come across, right? The second form is tonality. How you say something is 38% of what people receive from you in terms of communication. The largest percent, 55% of what you say or how you say things and how it's communicated is through physiology. Exercise, even if you're tired before you start, it actually creates energy. I'm going to tell you a couple ways to, to start no matter how you feel um, in the day. If you feel tired and you're like completely just zonked from the day, you ever feel like that when you go home? No or yes? Yes? Okay. Uh, when you get home from work, you're like, this is the last thing I want to do is exercise. Forget about it. I want to eat and chill out on the couch or whatever. Maybe you're still working on your second business, but still you need exercise. So here's step one. Again, a stepping process I came up with, and I call it the time energy matrix. Pretty cool, huh? Time energy matrix. So you, first you pick how much time you're willing to commit to the workout or willing to invest. Maybe you only have 10 minutes. That's okay. That's something, right? Now decide what your energy temperature is from like a, a scale of 20 degrees or zero degrees to 100 degrees. 100 being the hottest. Like you're ready, you're ready to pu push through your comfort zone. And I've created a grid. It's a matrix where you meet those two things in the center and there's a workout designed just for you. Pretty cool, huh? Now, uh, I'll share it with you in a little bit, but I just wanted to introduce you to that idea that n everything doesn't have to be hard. Like all of a sudden you decide to go on a crash diet and start working out two hours a day. One step at a time, and I promise you, exercise creates energy no matter how tired you are when you start. So the world is your gym, and if you've been to Quantum Leap, you also know that things are not always as they seem. I don't think this is a conference room at all, do you? I think it's a gym. It looks like a gym to me. So why don't we all stand up? We're going to do the power move to get ready to push through our comfort zone. OK, this next one's called Money Magnet. Who wants to be a money magnet? All right. OK, this one looks like a reverse lunge. So you're going to come down and lunge. And then you're going to come touch your hand, kick your hand. Lunge, so you're kind of cross your body. Kick your hand. You don't have to turn, I'm just doing it for you guys. So, money, come on. Magnet, money, magnet, come on. Money, magnet, switch sides, switch sides. We have two legs, money, come on. Magnet, money. Magnet, come on. Money, how serious are you? You want to be a money magnet? Get lower! Get lower! Okay, rest up. Rest up. How are we feeling so far? A little bit more energized? All right, thanks guys. I love you for helping me out. Thank you. Thank you. And with a minute to spare, we are all set. So thank you. Thank you so much. Are you
Wait, nigga, it's coming to her. Wait, nigga.